Here is the third of our three elementary results. If x has a normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma squared, then y, which is x minus mu divided by sigma, the whole quantity squared, has the chi-squared distribution with one degree of freedom. So again, from before, if you left the squared out, you get a standard normal on the inside here. But when you square a standard normal, you get a chi-squared random variable with one degree of freedom. The proof is again going to use the cumulative distribution function technique. So we begin by looking at the random variable y and its CDF is f sub y of y is the probability that the random variable y is less than or equal to little y and that is true as before from the definition of the cumulative distribution function. The next thing you do is you replace y with z squared. We know that this thing has the standard normal from the previous result. So we can say this is the previous result and also using the definition of the random variable y. So this is the same as a standard normal squared being less than or equal to y. Well, a little bit of algebra here results in the probability z squared less than or equal to y is the same as z lying between negative square root of y and positive square root of y. At this point we can uh, use the symmetry of the normal distribution and say the probability of a standard normal lying between negative square root y and positive square root y is twice the integral from 0 to the square root of y of the PDF of a standard normal distribution. Now this particular integral is with respect to z. This integral is with respect to w. So a substitution has been made here and that substitution is w is equal to z squared and of course dw will be 2z dz and when you make that substitution you wind up with this integral right here running from 0 to y this time of this integrand. Now there's two things you can do at this point. You can differentiate with respect to y and that will give you a chi-squared 1 probability density function or you can just recognize that this integrand is the probability density function of a chi-squared 1 random variable. When you do so, that completes the result and we know that y, which is x minus mu divided by sigma squared, will have the chi-squared distribution with one degree of freedom.